Hey, me and Matt here, and I'm Killer Kyle. Welcome to another episode of Wheels of Fury. sure how many episodes we're in now. I'll have to check it out. And it's not 230 yet. Oh, I think we're long past 230, bro. But close to 300, that's yes. what I meant to say. Anyways, so, it's another double episode. Ah. And first, we're gonna talk about the one happening tomorrow night in Turning Point. Yes. Impact turning point. Yep. I will say there has been a very interesting build up to this show. Yeah. I mean, the matches <laughs> look like they're going to be really good matches. The card looks stacked and solid. It'll be interesting to see what happens going into it. Yeah, quite looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, me too. I mean, you got know, a lot of. I want to say new talent. There's some new talent, but there's also wrestlers that I really enjoy watching. I know last time was interesting. I guess I don't, it's gonna be cool to watch as well. And there's yeah. some matches that I'm looking forward to. Oh, for sure. And I try to keep up with it as much as possible. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know why that's difficult, but anyways, yeah, it's gonna be a really good show. Ah, let's get to it! Uh, we have a match for the Empire <clears throat> Digital Media Championship. You've got the champion, the Sea Beast, Jordan Grace, against Chelsea Green. Yeah. That's gonna be a good match. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. And you look at Chelsea Green, and it's almost like. She's bouncing from, well, Ring of Honor is actually on hiatus, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. She's still an impact player, and so, I mean, it's gonna be a good match, and I got another one of those missed opportunities with WWE, but whatever. Yeah. She's been an impact way before, so that's even cooler. You look at Jordan Grace as well. And, yeah, with what she's done, fuck, I can't wait to see what she can do. Like, I think the idea of the digital media championship is very similar to, like, well, it didn't really become a thing, but, like, the internet championship. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, to me, it just seems to be a... Championship that will be defended, let's say, for, okay, turning points, pre-show. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, something online. Yeah, so it's kind of like Matt Cardona's internet title. Essentially. Maybe. Whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna say Jordan Grace. I mean, like I said, she's been on a roll. I like Chelsea Green, yeah. but, yeah, I don't know. I think Jordan Grace is gonna win. Yeah, me too. So that's... That's actually gonna be a good match. Next match. You have... Fingers taking on... Decay. Decay's Black Tarus and Crazy Steve. Yes. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. I mean, it almost seemed as if Last night, yeah. Finn Juice was wanting more competition, I guess, and maybe see if they can work their way up to the tag titles again, and maybe even were disappointed that they weren't on <clears throat> the card for turning point, whatever it was, and then we're into this match. Yeah. Yeah, as much as that's gonna be a good one, I think that Decay's gonna win. Yeah. I mean, look at Decay. 
and you know they've been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. Finn Juice has been in Impact for a few months or even a year. Well, I'm, uh, a few months anyway. And they had a lot of great matches in Japan. I think Decay is gonna win. I mean, they've been around for a long time in Impact, and I mean, Finn Juice is a really good tag team in Japan, mm-hmm. and they have held the titles. So, I mean, yeah, I'm still gonna pick the K. Yeah, the K as well. Match we got three today for the X Division Championship. We got the champion, Trey Miguel, defending against the Riddle Kid and Steve Macklin. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be awesome. You. Yeah. And I know Trey Miguel is a good champion, mm-hmm. you know, but, yeah, well, fuck it, let's all say he'll keep the title, because, I yeah. mean, I want to see him in a one-on-one match with Steve Macklin, yeah. because I know he's going to get the title for sure at some point. Yeah, Macklin will get the title some point down the road. But I honestly think it should be one-on-one, Yeah. so yeah, and plus, Trey's already had the belt for a while, like, well, well he, he won the title of Bound for Glory. Yeah, so, so I mean, I think he should yeah. have it for a little bit longer, so yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm taking Trey as well. <laughs> Women's take team match, you've got... Insurrection! Inspiration. Not insurrection. Yeah, inspiration versus DK. <laughs> Dude, insurrection was a WWE foul. Up in nineties, in England. Yes. yes, inspiration. Yep. Anyways, yeah, this should be a good match too. Uh, much like Crazy Steve and Black Tories, though, I think that the key is gonna win. Okay. I mean, Inspiration has just come into the company, and we know that Cassie and Jessica are good wrestlers. Right. But something tells me that Rosemary and Havoc are going to win. Okay, yeah. I honestly wasn't expecting them to lose the championships to Cassie and Jesse, but... It went the way it did. Um, I honestly feel like it'd be too soon to have Cassie and Jesse drop the titles, honestly. I mean, their characters right now are is good. I want to see more of it, though. I want to see what they can do as this cocky, stuck-up, snobby arrogant tag team with the, the knockouts tag titles and like they are very talented wrestlers they know how to talk it's a new like it's them as of the iconics but like yeah. take it to the next level yeah and I do want to see where it goes and I want to see more of it. Yeah, I just wish that they would have waited, you know. Yeah. Battle for Glory, they didn't need them right, yeah. now, right away. They just came in. But it is what it is. I mean, Decay, as much as I think that, you know, when I said that about the last two, been in the company for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I agree with Kyle. I think that Inspiration should keep the titles a bit longer and we'll see how that goes. Even though I disagree with the decision of Battle for Glory. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. So we go now from the Narcos Tag title to the Narcos Championship. We've got Hardcore Country, Mickey James, defending the title against Mercedes Martinez. Yeah. 
Now Mercedes just came over from WWE. Again, another lost opportunity, but whatever. Yeah, this is going to be a good match. I think they're going to have one hell of a fight. Yeah. You know, it's going to be fun to watch. But, is it too soon for Martinez to win? Yes. Yeah, Mickey James. I mean, no, take it nothing away from Mercedes. She's a hell of a wrestler. She's one badass chica. See, but... Yeah. She, for her being in the company, maybe a month? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, not yet. Mickey's keeping the title. Hell. Yeah. Now we have the Impact Championship. We've got Moose. Moose. Versus Eddie Edwards. And it's going to be full metal. Metal. Fucking right. Yeah. You know. You watch Battle for Glory. And you have the option C. Yeah. The Josh Alexander was going to become your champion. So he faces Christian and he wins the title. <laughs> I get it. Moose won the battle royal. He earned his shot. But can you not have waited? Can you not have fucking waited? Until another episode? It just bottles my mind that we only pick on one company and not pick on the other company. Because what happened at Bound for Glory was the shits. Josh Alexander is one hell of a wrestler. And you took it away from him. You took the Impact title away from him and gave it back to Moose. Because, same! Not only that, now you're having a match with Eddie Edwards. Yes, I enjoy Full Metal Mayhem matches. But this was the worst idea, the worst decision you could have done. Moose did not need the Impact title. What's so fucking ever? And I mean, this... Uh, I, I just don't get it. I just don't fucking understand what's at Scott DeMora's mind, what's on everybody else's mind, because this did not need to happen. You should have given Josh Alexander a chance. Yeah. So just for that, Double E is going to win the title. I don't think so. Yeah. Would it be great to see Eddie win the title? Yes. But Moose, Mickey, Trey, Inspiration, they all having just recently won their respective championships. Hell, even fucking Jordan Grace. They're not losing. Sorry to say, but it's not happening. Okay. Would it be great to see Eddie as Impact Champion again? Mm. Fucking right it would, but Moose is retaining. No, I'm not changing my answer. That's for the World Tag Team titles. You got the Good Brothers. Yeah! Defending against the Bullet Club, Chris Bay, and Hikaleo. The Battle of the Two Sweet, I guess. I don't know. Um, One thing I've noticed is like you go like the new version of the Bullet Club. Mm -hmm. They do like the underhanded. Yes, they do. Too yeah. sweet. Yeah. Because they don't think they can think. You know, this is mm. copyrighted or whatever the fuck. Yeah. So they go 
the other way for, you know, copyright reason or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So yeah, the match with Big Doc and Hikaleu last night, very good match battle of Big Men. Mm -hmm. It seemed to go kind of short though. Yeah. I did see that one myself, and it like, blows me away when I'm watching the TV, and it's the same with Morrissey. Yeah. How fucking tall that man is. Yeah, like, when you have Hikaleu next to Edge Archer, it's like, okay, they're about the same size, same height, but then you see him next to Big Doc, and he's a <laughs> slight bit taller than Doc. Is like, damn, that's a big motherfucker. Yep. But I am glad, though, that he's having more matches. Yes, it's his impact, but I am glad he is having more matches. And we can see a lot more of him and what he is capable of. Yeah. And he's very, very good. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah, I'm not disputing that. I think he's awesome. And I mean, with... Chris Beck in the corner now, in the Bullet Club, if you yeah. know. Yeah, that's fine. It's just, it's almost like what happened with the NW one, because you had all these variations through the years, you know, Wolfpack, and then the other one, and then, you know, LWO, and all of that, and it just seems yeah. like there's really no original members, obviously, but it's still like... I got New Japan, you know, you had a taste of it, WWE, when the Good Brothers came over with AJ Styles and yeah, whatever. You know, you got Finn Balor doing it. Yeah. So it's almost kind of like boring. Does it seem like it's run its course? Or is it still... It's starting to run its course, that's what I think. And I'm... That's what I mean. It's like, okay, you had the click do it back in the 90s. And then you have the Bull Club do it. And now fucking, you know, AJ Styles did it when he came over with the Good Brothers to WWE. Now Fred Balor's still doing it. And yeah, you have a new variation of it with Hikaleo and Chris Bay. But it's, uh, yeah, it's almost like it's kind of run its cars. Yeah. I mean, it's still cool to do it every once in a while, but it's kind of like, what's the point? Yeah. You know? They took an original idea from New Japan, and they made it their own in the States, and I get it, and I understand that, but, you know, it's kind of, yeah, it's definitely one of its cars. Leave it to the originals, like, yeah. In any case... This match, it's kind of like OG Bullet Club versus New Bullet Club. Exactly. That's exactly it. So, I mean, I think the Good Brothers are going to retain. Yeah, for sure. I don't see Bay or Hikaleo win. Yeah, I don't see it either. I mean, I would much rather see Hikaleo in a singles title line. Yeah, for but sure. That can happen eventually. I'm not quite sure. And yeah, hell, yeah. if he goes back to Japan, and I haven't watched a lot of, well, a little bit of it, I don't even know what happened to Cody Hall. Yeah, I don't know either. But... <laughs> but oh yeah, so now you have Matt Cardona versus W. Morrissey. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a good match. Yeah. I and mean, I could state the obvious. I'm saying W. Morrissey will win. <laughs> but I think he's won it. He's met his match. I mean, you're not just a GCW champion and not have a couple good wins after that. Mm. I don't know. You don't <laughs> become the GCW champion and you know, you're some schmuck. That came out, came in off the streets, and, you know, not have a name for yourself. Cardona's got a name for himself, and I think, 
Yeah, I think Cardona can hang with Morrissey. Whether or not Cardona can get the win, I'd be thoroughly impressed if he did. Yeah, I think the human Clydesdale might kick his ass. Human Clydesdale. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, obviously. But yeah. I'm why I'm going to chance it and save my Cardona. I mean... Yeah, W. Morrison has been on a hell of a run on the yeah. impact so far. But I think Cardona can pull it off. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Be, like I said, I'd be very impressed if he did. So now we got... Chris Saban versus Ace Austin. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure why they have this match, where they're going with this match, but whatever. Yeah, I'm not quite sure either. Yeah, I mean, if it weren't for Madman Fulton, I would say Chris was going to win. Right. He could still do it, obviously. Yeah. It's going to be one hell of a match. Oh, yeah. But it's just hard to pick a winner because I... Yeah. I don't like Ace Austin, but I don't see him lose. I mean, he might. I don't know. Yeah. So. I'll take Saban just for the hell of it. Yeah, me too. Ethan Rhino versus Joe Dorang and Eric Young. Oh, Final by Design. This is gonna be fun. I really enjoy Final by Design. I think. Well, I mean, Eric Young is twisted anyways. Yeah. And you look at the team with Rhino and Heath. And they've had a long history. Oh, yeah. Dating back to SmackDown. So it's like, man, there was no question that Rhino was going to eventually team up with Heath as soon as he came back. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's going to be fun. And talking to my brother saying, because I've seen Cody Dino a few times. Yeah. To see him now on TV as a bad guy with the shaped head. Yeah. And the tattoos, I think that's pretty sick. Yeah. And I end again, I like threw a bunch of jackals in the ring. So it's cool to see that. And obviously, Joe Doring is one big ass motherfucker. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they can win for sure. And the last Rhino pulls out. Go! 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 So, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be cool to. Watch this match for sure. I honestly, I think that Rhino and Heath are gonna win. Yeah, like it was interesting that they had Rhino with Violet by Design. They, it, they really didn't need it though. No, not really. Like, okay, Rhino as a badass, you know that's all well and good, but like. It only goes so far with it, and you know, makes sense to have Rhino be a face again. And like with Cody, Eric, and Joe, those three, you know, the sky's the limit for them. And I mean, who knows? You could have fucking Eric and Joe as the tag champions, fucking Joe and Cody as the tag champions. Hell, throw the Impact World title on Eric again. Mm. You know? I was just thinking if they had a, to have, not every stable needs one, but a female. Mm. I love, what's her name? Victoria? Well, Victoria in WWE, but. Tara? Tara, yeah. I think she's retired, though. Oh, that's right, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, anyways. Yeah, if you were to have a female. In Violent by Design? I don't know of a name that would, you could put in there that would work. Yeah, that's weird. 
Honestly, I don't know either. Like Becky James, you know, she was very scary when she was younger, but I mean, I don't think she could do that now, obviously. She's doing her own thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard. That's not just a thought I had. I mean, me, like, if Havoc wasn't a member of Decay, maybe that would work. Yeah, yeah. Or if you still had Nevaeh, could throw her in there. Possibly that might work. Somebody that could really work in there that I think would fit perfectly. I don't think she wrestles anymore though, which is a real shame, but um, Katie Lee Burchill. Okay. But yeah, other than that, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Now, there is well, Rich Swan is supposed to have a match, but. <laughs> play-by-play play of yeah who the opponent will be and then maybe make predictions from there I guess yeah we'll find out they seem to do this a lot we don't know who he's gonna face but yeah it'll be interesting I'm sure yeah what the daily go is so anyways this is turning point and tomorrow night should be awesome. I made some other good matches. Yes. Well, that I didn't even know about. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's what you get for not following. And that's okay too, I guess. I did yeah. try to catch up. But anyway. It's going to be a really good show. I can't wait to see. I think that. Yeah, it'll be interesting when Inspiration takes on to cake. Yes. But anyhow. Very much so. So. For me and Matt, this is Killer Kyle. We'll be talking to you in a bit. Yeah. Deuces. See you in a few. <laughs>